Hello everyone, welcome to day two of the seven day self portrait challenge and I've woken up to rain. It has been raining non-stop all night and it doesn't look like it's gonna stop which is an absolute shame because I wanted to shoot pretty much all my images outside this week. However, I do have some backups and I do have an idea for today. And so I'm here starting this video doing my makeup because what I'm gonna do today is a portrait and I wanna do a really close in cropped portrait and I wanna do some really, not dramatic makeup but just a little bit heavier makeup because the way that I want this image to come out is really really striking. It will make sense when I go downstairs and show you the image and the image idea but first I'm gonna put my makeup on and then I'll explain everything in a little bit. Okay so I've got my makeup on. Not too sure that I'm gonna keep it as perfect as it is right now but I'm gonna start with it quite pristine now and then I'll see what it looks like on camera. So a couple of weeks ago when I was planning the project, I created a huge giant lightning bolt and I'm not gonna show you in this video because I might still do it this week at some point. But as I was creating this idea, I came up with maybe adapting the idea with just three little lightning bolts in a portrait style. What I did as I was creating the lightning bolt was make three little ones out of the leftover card. And here they are. So we've got one, two, three. So the idea is to shoot these three lightning bolts poking into my face in all different angles. I have got a backdrop here. Now I made this backdrop a few years ago and I did do a backdrop making video on this channel so you can see how I created this backdrop. It is a grey backdrop which I think it'll look really nice with the silvery sparkly paper that I've used to make these lightning bolts. All right. So I have my backdrop sort of propped up on this stand here, <laughs> uh, lent against the wall. I usually shoot with a 35, but because this is a portrait, I'm thinking of using a different lens. I'm gonna set my camera up and see what it looks like. And for those who don't know that I use a D750, this is my camera, and I'm using a Sigma 35mm lens, and I usually use it for everything that I do. I do have like an 85 and a 50 for like weddings and portraits, but for like self-portraits, I tend to use a 35. I've got a 60mm, which is quite an old lens, and I really like it because it's very sharp, and that's exactly what I want for the vibe of this shot, is just to be very sharp portrait. So I'm gonna set this up and see how far I can get away from the canvas, and I might have to move the room around. <laughs> Hopefully my mum doesn't mind, but yeah, let's see. So I've put my dad's gilet on, because <laughs> it was the closest thing that I could find. And I've decided to do it outside, and I'm not sure exactly where, but I think because the weather's not too bad, it's not actually raining, it is freezing though. I'm gonna just try it outside. So I've just propped the backdrop up on here. Although it might need pulling up a little bit more. Let's see how we get on. There we go. I just need to test what it looks like. See, the light is so much better outside. We all knew that. It's just, I wasn't sure if it was gonna stop raining or not. But it has, so yeah. I'm looking a little bit worse for wear. <laughs> Mainly because I am freezing my bum off. Okay, so I didn't get to explain anything of what I was doing there because I wanted to get the shot and I'm not even sure if I've got the shot yet. The cold was too much to even like talk and I just was like, I need to get it quickly and just get it over and done with kind of thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna talk you through what I did now. So what I did there was take some of my eye makeup off because I didn't like it, it wasn't looking very good and it wasn't the vibe that I wanted to go for. Then I popped my hair up, I mean it is now falling into whatever it's wanting to do but see I wanted my hair up just to show like the facial features. I also wanted it to have like little wispy bits that could like fly away. So then I obviously used my trigger on my phone, took the picture and then got one that was like sort of a base image. I started with one quite close up and then I realised that I couldn't fit these in because it sort of like cut it off there and so I kind of wanted to make it a little bit wider. So I just came away from the camera but closer to the background. Poached the end bit of the lightning bolt into my face at one side, took a picture and then I did it on the 
other side took a picture and then I did it on the top and took a picture. One thing that I did have a little trouble with was obviously the light shines differently on this um, glitter paper and I really wanted it to be the brightest it could be but also be able to see the glitter rather than it just like blow out. Sort of turn it to get the right light on it. Again I've not looked at the pictures so I'm not sure if they've worked out but we'll find out in a little while. It was sort of a rushed attempt because it is so cold outside but the light was way better outside so that's why I took it outside. I'm happy with what I've got so far and I'm going to sit down and edit now and see if I can make it all merge together and look great, hopefully. So I finished the edit next door at my nan and granddad's and I've just come across to show you and I'm so happy with the final outcome. I think I say this every time after an image but journey to get there is like so like ah is it gonna work I don't know I don't know so when it does work I'm like oh such a relief and it's like you're so happy that I went through a roller coaster ride <laughs> I've left my laptop over there so I can't show you the screen but what I usually do is airdrop my images from my MacBook to my phone and then just to see like the different colors and this is the original one I was happy with but I thought it was slightly too yellow obviously you, you won't be able to see properly on here but so I just toned down my skin tone and now I'm very happy with the final image and I will leave it at the end obviously as always. Hopefully tomorrow will not start off as rainy as today did because I really want to get out and properly shoot. It was freezing earlier when I was shooting, I was just so cold. So hopefully tomorrow will be better weather. Anyway, I'm bubbling. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think to the image below in the comments and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.